Hey guys, welcome to another video and I know it's been a while since my last video. Today I'll be doing something different that um, not a lot of people um, out there have been doing so. I mean, not the ones that I've seen in terms of um, customizing their gear or customizing their camera gear. So usually, um, you know, you'd either have your lenses or your camera bodies um, with stickers. But today I'll be putting a sticker on my gimbal all right so yeah so i've got a i've got a little setup uh, behind me on my left i'll be shooting a time lapse of me um you know just putting on the stickers and i also set up a a timer on the side just to see how long and just to give you an idea on how long it takes for for the process to to happen yeah yeah let's get to the time lapse All right, there you have it guys. Uh, it literally took me a minute, uh, not a minute. Uh, it took me an hour and a half, just, just a, two minutes over. But yeah, I literally just finished it. But yeah, just a few tips just to get, um, just to get this uh, properly done is to make sure that you have enough time that you're free during that day, that you're not rushing. That's the last situation that you wanna be in, uh, rushing through. So far from my experience, uh, putting these uh, stickers on, they're, they're quite accurate. Of course, there's gonna be, you know, plus minus, you know, a few millimeters off and all that. But if it saves you a lot of money in, in terms of its uh, resale value, I think that's, that's really uh, important, especially with, uh, you know, gear being uh, updated regularly so you want to make sure that uh, when you sell these uh, when you want to sell your old uh, equipment uh, it still retains its values and and you know it doesn't really cost much for you to upgrade to the the newer uh, generation of uh, gimbals or lenses or cameras and all that yeah that's all for me uh, thank you so much for watching and um, let's finish this with some b-roll thanks for watching bye bye <laughs> 